Hello there, and welcome back to Iconoclasts. Last time, after a series of unfortunate mishaps, we arrived here at the Shard Wastelands. So, let's get to exploring. And of course, the first thing we do is immediately start destroying the local statuary because, of course, we're a hero after all. Ooh, that's right, I do have to try and find a tweak table soon. Hopefully I don't, like, end up missing the only one in the area? What is this? Hmm. This looks like I should be able to do something with it. Perhaps power it up, given the light bulb? But I don't think I have the ability as of yet. Ah! There we go. Okay, it was a... it's a power chest. Interesting. I imagine I'll be seeing more of these in this area, probably involving timed puzzle elements. Hmm, Italian. Tasty. Could always use more iron in my diet. And a new enemy to fight, okay. I can just take him down with the stun gun, not too threatening. Um, I figured that going left, considering that's roughly where I came from upon entering this area, would be not progress, but I think once again I've accidentally started heading towards progress without meaning to. Oh dear. Ooh, okay, I see how this works. Yep, more timing elements, it seems. Or is that just going indefinitely now? Okay, nope, yep. Gotta go fast. Like a certain blue animal creature. Yeah, that's right, I'm talking about... Sanic. I wanted to think of another blue creature to talk about, but I couldn't actually think of one. What are some blue fictional animals? Tell me in the comments. Uh, don't... I don't actually care if you do that or not. I'm just saying stuff to kill time. Ooh, this boy's impervious to everything that I have. Um, what about the stomp? Probably not a great idea given the spikes, but I guess it's worth a shot. Yeah, nope. Fortunately, that is free damage given the uh, thing that I have. Oh god, whoa. Uh, I do not want to tangle with you, my... What are you? Is that like, is that like a snake-like creature? It looks like kind of like a cross between some sort of snake or maybe a lizard with a, a cactus. I wasn't sure if stomping on it would work given the gaping mouth, but it worked. And yeah, that's confirmation right there that I can repair my gadgets. Is that what they're called? I've already forgotten. Uh, tools? No. Yeah, whatever they're called, the accessory things. Uh, with just by killing enemies. Just kind of cave story-ish. Reminds me of how the weapons work in that game. Where getting hit de-levels them, but you can level them back up easily enough. Ooh, hold on. How do I get up there? Uh, by picking up things that enemies drop. Yeah, I don't think I can get to that right now. I hope I'm not forgetting any movement upgrades I shouldn't be. I guess this is another... I'll come back here later sort of thing. And I'm probably going to need to have this moving if I want to make it. I might be able to do it without, but that's a bit risky, and I'd rather be cautious here. Given the fact that I can no longer take no damage with my next hit. Okay, that actually worked out pretty well. Okay, no invisible wall there. I was kind of hoping that might be the case. Oh, and speaking of key, uh, that's not for the chest though, I'm afraid. Ooh, is this new technique? It looks just like a, a wall jump, you know, from climbing, which I kind of already knew that exists, I think. I guess they're just making sure that the player knows about it since they'll need it ahead, which is good. Better to err on the side of the player knowing what the fuck's going on than, you know, the opposite of that. I've been playing Monster Hunter World recently, which doesn't do that, and god, there's just so many things in that game that go completely unexplained, and it makes getting into it kind of a bit rough. Oh wait, I'm back here! Okay, that's pretty cool. I loop back around. Uh, does that mean I missed something in that previous room? Because yeah, they have that tutorial there, and then they have these gears that you can grind. I guess I can platform up them? Okay, yeah, that's what I was missing. And here's where I do the ledge jump. Simple enough. Ooh, 
Someone set up a campground here, which I can rest at. Nice, HP restored. Wonder whose campground this is if I'll get to meet them. Hmm. With that in mind, actually, let's backtrack a little bit. Especially since it's not too far away. Oh, right, I can just shoot these ones. For some reason, I feel like the color gray would be better for the ones that can't be hurt, as opposed to orange, but that's just me. Yeah, I want to head back to the start and try heading to the right and see where that takes me, because this very much seems to be progress, as I've stated before. And even if I end up being blocked by heading to the right, I would like to know that now. So apologies if this is at all dull, but you're just gonna have to bear with me. Oh, I love those boys, just their goofy running animation, their mouths agape. A very cute design. Okay, so I'll be coming from the other side for this one, I see. So that is indeed a dead end. About what I'd expect. But what about the lower path? Oh, good, good, good. If this is a chemical camp, that means there, yup, should be a tweak table. Perfect, okay. So, let's see. Um, can't... Okay, I can craft Iron Heart, which protects damage once. I wonder if I can stack these. Probably. Uh, Fleet Foot slightly increases movement speed. I think I might... Well, I need two materials I don't have, so I can't really save up for it at the moment. Uh, Breathless. Hold your breath in water or gas for a longer time. Okay, so there's gonna be like damage gas areas. Perhaps even here, so it might be a good idea to pick this up. And I don't really need another Iron Heart, so yeah, let's go with that. And then just make sure they're equipped in the right order. Uh, oh, right, I have to equip them at save spots. I get bored from all the sand, so get talking to me, baby. So, wanna borrow my tweet crafting table? I already did. You must not have been paying much attention, buddy. Yep, okay. So what's further past here? Nothing! That I can get to at least just now. Alright. So dead ends as I thought, but also useful stuff, so good thing I head back. Headed back. And uh, yeah, let's equip Breathless. AKA my physical description. Woo. Okay. This is the one frustrating thing about playing Metroidvania games, I suppose, is, well, the backtracking is part of the fun, of course. When you're just backtracking through a small area like this, it can get a bit droll and dull and, shall I say, boring. Tedious. Monotonous. There are plenty of other similar words that can be used to describe this feeling. And it's just an inescapable part of the Metroidvania design. The best ones try and limit this by encouraging you to limit your backtracking until you can actually do stuff later, by making the critical path obvious. But sometimes you end up exploring down a side path that you can't actually do anything at yet, and then you just have to backtrack, and there's no avoiding that. Uh, yeah, I know I can spin thing. Oh, okay. Is this a projectile deflection? Yep. Overstun. I do wonder what exactly that means. Like, what me Oh, really? That wasn't the proper timing? Okay. Like, what mechanically does that do? Does that just mean I did, like, a bunch of damage when killing it, or how does that work? Getting better at the boomerang timing, thank goodness. I get the feeling there might be a boss ahead that utilizes that. Just a wild guess. Hmm. Multiple paths. Uh, is this the other side of that door? No, it's not. Okay, it's nowhere near it. Thought it might have been a place I'd been before, but not quite. Uh, hold on. Does this game actually have a map? It does, okay. I haven't been paying too much attention to it. I'm worried that by dropping down, I might not be able to get back up, but screw it, let's go for it. Let's see what's down here. 
Okay, so I did need to come down here to activate that, but it's it's not one of those time-limited ones. Okay. So presumably that'll let me come back here, I guess. And, uh, was I able to do things with these boys? I don't think so. I think it's just a matter of evasion, isn't it? Which is fine. These boys, however, I can stomp. Which never gets any less satisfying. Whoops. Wonder if there's any anything you can get in this game for not taking dam That's a secret. For not taking damage, like in a certain area throughout the entirety of the game, things like that. Because this feels like the kind of game that would have that sort of thing. Ooh, ivory oil must be particularly rare given its importance in the setting. Even if that rarity, from what it sounds like, is uh, artificially created by the corporation. Um, and whatever I was just talking about, I've already forgotten, so sorry, I won't be finishing that part. Okay, this looks like a bit of a puzzle. Possibly a timing one. I'm guessing I have to go left, right, and then make my way up to the top. But given how far apart those seem to be, if it is a timing thing, I'm not sure if I'd be able to do it right now. I guess I just have to proceed forward and see. Now don't I? Oh, and that platform is also used to make my way up there, which is actually pretty cool. How a single puzzle element is used for multiple things. I like that. So let's see, is this time limited? Okay, thank goodness. So that way I can take my time and I don't have to feel stressed by rushing. Good, good. I don't mind that sort of things in games in general, but sometimes it is a bit disheartening and ah. I have to make my way back around again. That's more than a little frustrating. Okay, to hopefully reduce the backtracking tedium, I'm gonna head this way first. Just because it seems like the other path might be where I'm supposed to go. So hopefully this is indeed a side path. Alright, well, got some treasure. Mmm, more delicious iron. Well, I guess I don't know that... For a fact, it could be some other type of metal, no, couldn't it? But it looks irony, so that's what I calls it. Alright, I need a key there. Oh, and this leads back down here. That's actually pretty cool. I love the interconnectedness of this level design. Oh, and a save spot right here in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, that makes me feel like I might be encountering a boss soon up there. Just saying. First though, of course, I'm gonna have to solve this fiendishly difficult puzzle. That is one thing with the game so far that has been a little bit disappointing, is none of the puzzles that there have been have been all that complex, but there's time for that to be the case. I am still quite early after all. It definitely seems like a, a story front-loaded game. Gonna have a lot of plot stuff going on first before I really get into the meat of the gameplay. Which I'm okay with. I am, after all, a huge fan of JRPGs, which are nothing but stories, so... If I were to complain about that, I'd be a huge-ass hypocrite. And let's unlock that. And let's move on. Well, let's actually save first, just so we don't have to repeat that. Should I die, which is totally not gonna happen, because I'm a pro video game player. But just in case. It never hurts to have that security there just as a reassurance, you know? Oh right, these are the <laughs> invulnerable ones. Once again, just orange does not convey that to me all that well. I'll definitely have to look up a speedrun of this game after I beat it, because seeing someone go through this game really quickly is definitely something I'm interested in. Uh, can I not make it over there? Hmm. I guess I might need some sort of boosted jump, but I feel like... I can't hang on to this right No, so I couldn't do a, a ledge jump from that. Um... Because it feels like I can just barely make it if I time it perfectly. You know, one of those pixel-perfect jumps. But maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Ooh. Been a while since I've seen one of these. To the point that, for a second there, I actually forgot what it was, and... 
think I'm gonna startle this boy by dropping down on him, but not much I can do about that. Okay. <laughs> well, I feel kind of bad now. Sorry there, buddy. I uh, kind of had no choice. This heat drives me nuts. Well, you can complain to the top agents when they get here. Damn, are we scheduled for that already? Besides, I thought General Chrome had authority to run all operations anyway. I don't know. They still have authority over him, so maybe they want to check on things? But I was told Agent Grey died. What? How is that even possible? No idea. Just don't look Agent Black in the eyes. When is Kirk getting here anyway? Alright, uh, is this gonna be stealth, or... Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, there you are, Kirk. You're not Kirk, you're a girl. What are you doing here? Oh, okay, dialogue options. Huh, that's an interesting third option. Uh, um, I'll be more respectful, I guess. Well, you seem to have the tools of a mechanic, so I guess you can help us out instead. Oh. How do you mean, bonked? Um, let's just go fix things. Alright then, well, that worked out better than I expected. I guess that's the nice thing about these tyrannical mega corporations is, generally speaking, the common grunts aren't that bad if they're not receiving direct orders. So, we need to sort out our chemicals for weapons making. My personal favorite is the chemical of Triangle. Anyway, our elevator broke and we don't have the spare parts we would need to fix it. All you need to do is crank this nut to raise the elevator. It'll go down again if you stop. My fellow soldier here will go back and forth with boxes and you need to put them on the floor that matches the icon on his box. When he's picked a box, he won't wait, he'll just keep going. Heh <laughs> yeah, I do that. Good luck. Whatever you do, do not mix circle with triangle. Okay, uh, this is an interesting minigame. I'm guessing it's gonna speed up as I go along. This is actually one thing that I had seen prior to playing the game, just from some pre-release streams. Oh, okay, so that's the tricky part, right? I gotta keep cranking it. And yep, it's going faster too. Alright, I'm probably just gonna be fo- Sorry about that, buddy. <gasps> yeah, maybe not have this circle one on the bottom floor, so you keep freaking out like that. Oh, now it's bull- Oh! Well. So much for doing well with that minigame. Oh, <laughs> okay, that, that just straight up kills you, I guess. So it has to rewind. Alright. It's, I'm just gonna focus on this purely so I don't screw it up. Plus, it gives you a chance to listen to the nice background music without my yammering on. How did I do that twice in a row? I'm bad at this minigame, aren't I? Well, you know what they say, third time is the charm, although it never seems to work out that way for me. Usually it's the five millionth time that ends up being the charm. Hopefully not here though, because much like that fourth with forced stealth segment, I'm probably not going to edit this. That way, anyone watching gets the full, proper experience as if they were playing on their own. That's what being a professional Let's Player is about, after all. And also just because, A, I'm kind of vindictive if I'm suffering, I want you to suffer along with me. And B, I, I feel it does show off the game better if I show off the, the bad elements like this, because hey, they're in the game. 
you should be able to experience them. Ah, uh, whoops. At least it wasn't the deadly combination, so I'm not failed. Okay, good. I guess I was actually quite close to finishing those previous attempts. Since you did so well, I guess I can trust you to deliver back this concussive bomb gun modification to the main camp, yes? Oh yes, you can trust me absolutely. I'm totally not going to filch that for my own, no, no siree. Okay, that's the upgrade I was looking for, and finally I can switch between things. Alright, and it does about what I'd expect. I wonder, if I talk to these gents again, do they say anything else? How do you know how to vent so well? I could probably never do what you did. Did you deliver the bomb add-on yet? Hauling boxes that, that easily explode is kind of tiring. And also terrifying. Alright, I wonder if these explode if they make contact with something. I hope so, because otherwise they're going to be a pain to use. Also, cutscene. I once read an inspiring story in a book from the Pacides. A single man almost managed to bring the world to its knees, were it not for the collective efforts of many nations to prevent it. The segregation of nations let him get as far as he did. I believe the unity of these nations, which brought peace, symbolized that we should all strive to find a common ground in our own time. I know of that story, and I find it interesting the way you actually chose to compare it to yourself. Besides, history tells us every unity eventually breaks or changes. There is no one person's ideal that suits every single person. Don't you believe ideological disagreement only feeds the potential of evils to rise? That's like asking if I believe the wind needs the air to exist. You're a young man. You need to do more living before you can make educated conclusions. Look upon me and realize that there is finally a chance at conclusion. All I see is a poor, delusional juvenile. His mind is warped by books which he doesn't know how to read. The two of us will never agree. So are we done here? If we all agree there is no conflict, there is always another way to settle a disagreement. Oh jeez. Well, this boy is quite rude. These people are just idiots. They'll never understand this stuff, General. Pirates are people like you and me, Tolo. They're just too stubborn to understand what the cause is. Y yes of course I'm sorry if I said anything dumb, General. I shouldn't have opened my mouth. I have no right to try and force my thoughts into your negotiations. That's about enough, Tolo. Now, what was that message from the agent? Uh, um... Tolo, get your stupid level boy General Chrome, don't Chrome down to the camp immediately. Black. No need to anger her poor head any further. Oh, okay. Alright, so he is a rude dude for a reason, I guess. He's gonna be an enemy. Aw, poor Kurt's gone. Hopefully I didn't give him too bad of a concussion. Uh, hold on, can I take this outside? Ah, of course I can't. That would make things too easy now, wouldn't it? And I don't think it would help with this either now, would it? Ah, uh, this is so frustrating. I really want to pick this up now. I don't want to have to return for it later. At least it is shown on the map, though, by that little square mark. That is a very Metroid thing. That is exactly what uh, the later Metroid games did. Show a larger icon for items you have yet to collect, and then a small icon where you have collected those items. That way they're not forcing the player to remember each and every individual thing they left behind. Uh, yeah, let's do some uh, backtracking. Actually, hold on, let's save first, actually. Since there's a convenient save statue right here and all. What is my save time at, anyway? 
Yeah, let's keep going for a little bit longer. I was wondering whether to end the episode there or not, but I feel like a little backtracking is in due before I finish things off. Ooh, let's actually test out the bomb. First of all, let's see if I can actually land the damn thing in that thing's gob. Yup. That is exactly what I was hoping would happen. Oh boy, and plus these gray boys shouldn't be a problem anymore. Yup, okay, I'm loving this thing. I'm loving it. I mean, this is arguably more difficult and thus more dangerous than just stomping on them, but it is so much more satisfying to do. I like explosions, okay? Don't judge. Uh, yeah, let's keep going down. I don't believe there was anything I could explode over to the right. Like, no passages or anything. Ooh, even better. I no longer have to play, um, Hacky Sack. Wait, that's not the game. What is it, uh, Ping Pong? I don't know. I've never been good with sport. Case in point. Yeah, it's just safer to explode them with my own bombs. Even if deflecting projectiles is a lot of fun. Oh yeah, baby. That did exactly what I was hoping it would. Question is, do I go there or do I backtrack even further? I'm gonna assume they designed it so that the first one they come across isn't gonna be progress. Ah, I always do that too late. Something about the timing just throws me off a little bit. I have to consciously remember to do it faster. Okay, good. It is a dead end. Ooh, and good thing I came here. There's the technium I was looking for. I still need that one other material before I can make that other tweak, though, unfortunately. Not that that's too big of a deal. It's not like I have any extra slots. Ooh, hold on. There was an item I didn't collect down there. And if I'm being honest, I don't quite remember why I didn't. So let's try and head over there and see if I can do it now. Oh, which is going to take longer because I dropped down. My bad. My B. My mistake. How am I failing to do ledge jumps now? Like, what? Yeah, I just was not clinging to it for some reason, which is weird because I was holding both the D-pad and the jump button, and I know it's one of those. Huh. Wait, what? How do I get there? Do I have to come up from below? I guess so. You'd think I'd remember this place a little bit better, considering I had just gone through here, but nope. That's just the thing that happens when I play video games, so if really anything, my memory is kind of garbage. Okay, good. I can kind of halt its progress if I make it rub up against a wall. Good. So actually destroying those walls isn't going to be as big of a pain as I thought it might be. I was worried I might have to aim it perfectly to get it in, but no. Oh, right, this one, which I still can't make my way to. As much as that frustrates me, unless... Yeah, I can't really leverage the bombs here to aid me. Okay, that's fine. Hopefully that'll just reinforce further in my mind that I need a higher jump or some equivalent there. Uh, why did I never go up here? Hmm, must just have not bothered. Let's see if it's friendly to me or not. Ooh, yeah, good thing I came here. Upgrade mats. And it is much easier now that I'm coming here with this explosive, so I guess it's a good thing I held off. Not that it would have been all that difficult in the first place, but still. Hey, more technium. I'll take that, baby. Alright, I'm actually clearing out this place pretty thoroughly. Which only makes that one chest I couldn't get to all the more infuriating, because I'm going to have to come back here for that one thing alone. Which is always annoying in these sorts of backtracky games. But it is what it is. I knew what I signed up for when I purchased this. Alright, let's make another save here, just in case. And let's see what's beyond that wall that was over here. Actually, do you have anything you just say, buddy? Nope. Okay. 
Yeah, because if there's going to be a boss anywhere, I'm thinking perhaps it might be here. Ooh, purple boy. Are you going to do something if I come close? Yup. I wonder if that tweak I has protects me from its gas or not. Probably not, it's probably just an attack. The gas that was referring to is probably an environmental thing. And I don't really feel like testing to find out, because that would involve me taking damage if I'm wrong. Which isn't the end of the world, but still. Ooh, two places I can go. Oh, well, one's a dead end, so that solves that issue. Alright, more Improvium. I'm improving myself all the time. You know what? I'm gonna leave him be. I've killed enough of his kind. He gets to live. Oh yeah, you know when I said that I would let him live and leave him alone? I lied. I'm bloodthirsty, baby. I don't know why I'm saying baby a lot. I don't, it's not normally part of my vocabulary, but it seems to have become so during this play session. Don't ask me why. Wait. Okay, good, I can get through there, and I can get crushed. I'm glad that didn't kill me, but <laughs> this is kind of silly, don't you think? Uh, so I guess I'm gonna want to destroy all of these first before I actually proceed upwards? Yeah, definitely. Oh, okay, good. That's how this is going. So, technically a timing element, but it is very lenient, which I am grateful for. Because time puzzle things can potentially be a little bit stressful at times, and yep, I'm already aware. And the fact that they're telling that to me here, of all places, right by a save point, makes me think that... Maybe. Just maybe. There might be a boss fight ahead. Also a secret, because that was pretty obvious, come on. Did you think I was gonna miss that? Oh, that's a rough situation to be in. Yeah, don't steal other people's food, even if it's in the communal fridge or whatever. That's just rude. There ain't no place for that in my world. I don't know why I keep talking like this. Oh, these woes. Huh. I shall not be your little play toy. They are forcing me into a dreadful existence. No regard for my stripe. Everyone is out to torment me. I am the caged canary, woefully forced to sing during the dinners of noblemen. Crawl again, my skin. But this canary shall break out of its macabre coop. Ah! Who, who are you? R Robin? Well, good day to you. I am Voyle, as is obvious. Um, are you a mechanic with a scouting party? Did you come here looking for me? I've got a bomb. You mean that gut attachment? You can probably take that to the camp. I am not going anywhere, though. You treat me like a bird that has to do things. I am my own man. Uh, what are you doing over there? Oh, the flowers? Yeah, I was summoning some to grow in here. I thought it would look quite striking with the light from outside falling on them. I've read a lot about forgotten flowers in City One's ancient books. I can't seem to recreate them the way they're drawn in those, though. This could use a big finish. Do you actually not know who I am? You are a mechanic, right? Who are you, really? Whoa, I didn't make that. Oh. Concern members spotted. Expunge. It's a pirate machine. Help me take it out. Ooh, okay, so I'm just getting the idea that 
boss fights in this game are going to largely be cooperative, which is pretty cool. Um, right, I gotta get him to where he's concentrate. I, I can't deflect those back, really. Maybe I want the the shooty. No. Um, the bombs seem to be working. Okay, that yep, that worked out. I was a little bit confused by what was happening there, to be honest. It doesn't help that the boss is coming at me so fast that it's a little bit stressful. Just saying. But yeah, bomb does seem to be a good thing to have here. Okay, yeah, this is actually really simple. Can I get multiple in? Because that would be really convenient. I guess not. Yeah, already at half health. This is not going nearly as well as the first boss fight, I'll freely admit. You've activated my trap card, haha. -ha. Well, actually not mine, his. Ooh, and I like the battle damage that's actually shown, that's a nice detail. Oh, switching sides, that's fine. Yeah, I really don't like the fact that I apparently can't bat those away, because I was taught that I could do so with the previous enemy, but it does not seem to be working here. And right there, it ended up getting me dead by contributing to the damage I was taking. Well, good thing I saved. Let's try that again. Oh god, do I have to go through this entire- Okay, good, I can skip it, thank goodness. I wonder, can I recover tweaks in the boss fight? I don't think I can, unfortunately. I don't actually get them from the boss. Maybe when I take down one of its health pips. Anyway, yeah, this first phase now is not a trouble at all now that I know what to do. I just gotta watch those ground waves a bit more closely. He walked right into my trap. Alright, one more, and then it's on to the next phase, which I'll hopefully have a bit less trouble with. Ugh, yeah, it's those bombs are the nasty ones. Cause you gotta make sure not to get hit by them, or the explosions that they cause. I do wish there was more I could do here other than just the waiting game. Uh, oh wait, I can't, okay, I do actually have to explode him. Fair enough. And good, I am getting the white stuff back. Uh, I probably could have phased that slightly less awkwardly, but it is what it is. Oh god. Okay, one thing I have to say I'm not a fan of is all the flashing effects going on. It makes it really hard to tell what's actually happening and thus avoiding the stuff. And oh, come on. I know that's not the first phase. It has another two health pips. Or not? Was I... I guess I was reading things improperly. Okay. Was as if the passion of our joint presence were siphoned through thine stun gun. I I shall make a recommendation for your promotion back at camp. I'm not sure where you lost your escort, but I insist I shall take you instead. Otherwise, you can't return to camp, so don't go wandering off alone like this. Alright, so we have an erstwhile ally. I think that's a good enough place to end things. I guess next time I'll get to see if I can infiltrate the camp or if they'll just immediately recognize who I am.